Recently, Vishnu asked, Hi, kindly tell about how to reduce inodes in cPanel. Also, give advice on which is best hosting for WordPress site. Thanks in advance. And I'm going to answer those questions in this quick tutorial. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And we're getting started right now. I'm going to answer the second question first. The best hosting, in my opinion, is SiteGround. There are a bunch of others that are really good. Cloudways, A2, they're really good. But SiteGround, for me, is my favorite. They're secure. They're fast, reasonably priced. I think they're great. I have many reasons I like SiteGround. There's a link in the description down below to a blog post where I go over, I think, 20 or more reasons why I choose SiteGround for my hosting and why I recommend SiteGround. So check out that blog post down below. And on this SiteGround help page, it very clearly describes what an inode is. And the most important sentence on this help page is the number of inodes on your account equals the number of files and folders you have on it. That's all it is, just the number of files and folders. So if we go into my SiteGround account, I can see right here my inode usage. Currently I have 94,493 inodes, i.e. files or folders and I am allowed to have 300,000. When we get close to this maximum, we start getting warnings from SiteGround that you gotta reduce your inode usage because as it also says in this help page, every time a file is opened, the file's inode is read by the kernel of the server. The more files and folders you have, the more inodes you use, the more inodes you use, the more system resources your account consumes. And if you're on shared hosting, that means the more other people on that shared hosting account are gonna be affected by your inode usage. That's why they track and limit the number of inodes you can use. Something that happened to me once, I was maxing out the inodes and I didn't know why, and after a bit of investigation, I discovered that Updraft Plus, which is the backup plugin I use, and I have a video on that as well on this channel if you need to, need to back up your site, check out that video. And that plugin, I have it set up so it backs up my sites to Google Drive. And the way the plugin does it is it makes the backup on the server then it uploads the backup to Google Drive, then it deletes the backup on the server. That's how it's supposed to work. But for whatever reason, maybe it was a permissions issue, I don't remember what it was, but it was not deleting the backup on the server. So it was uploading it to Google Drive, everything was working fine, everything was backing up, it was great, but it wasn't deleting the backup on the server, and my inodes were going crazy, because inside that zip file, there are a lot of files and folders, and those add to inode usage. So it isn't just one zip file, the zip file can be considered a directory inside a web server, and inside the zip file, there's just boatloads of files. And so my inode usage was going through the roof, and that was why, the backups on the server. So that's one of the reasons you might be seeing your inode usage ballooning. You might also see this from uploading too many images. You may have too many images on your site, or you may have an auto poster on one of your sites that pulls images from elsewhere and blog posts from elsewhere, posts them to your site, and when you upload an image to WordPress, WordPress by default creates five or six different versions of that image, depending on which theme you're using. And then those are all individual inodes. And so if you have a lot of that happening, a lot of images being uploaded, you can have your inode usage go through the roof as well. And if inodes are a problem and you can't figure out why, you can contact SiteGround support. One of the reasons I love SiteGround is they have great support. You just go to the support tab here and you can email them, you can chat with them. I think the higher level accounts also have phone support Oh, here it even says our support team is available 24 seven via phone, chat, or ticket. Proceed to contact us here. So just click on there, contact support, and they will help you find out what your inner usage problem is. They're super, super helpful. Obviously you wanna look around a bit yourself. You don't wanna go there first. So if you can't find the problem yourself, contact support and they will help you out. And that's all there is to inodes. I've linked to this page down below so you can read through it yourself. That's what inodes are and how to address them and how to fix them if they're a problem in your cPanel. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And next up is watching this video right up here where I show you how to increase your site speed using WP Rocket. And after that, watch this video right here where I show you the 10 most common security mistakes I see on WordPress sites over and over and over and over again. Make sure you check that out because you're probably making at least one of those mistakes. My my name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.